this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the games with David Navarra and Radoslav Wojtacek. This is the game from Biel Chess Tournament that was played in Switzerland in 2015. David Navarra had white pieces and he started at e4. Radoslav Wojtacek played c5, going for Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4. C takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, a6, a Nidorf variation, bishop to e3, e5, attacking the knight, knight to b3, bishop to e6, white to move. h3 was played, preventing knight to g4. Very popular way to prevent knight g4 is f3. This is also preparing g4. We have h3, bishop to e7, g4, white attacks on the wing, and black counters in the center with d5. e takes on d5, knight takes on d5. If knight takes knight, bishop takes attacking the rook. Let's have a look. If knight takes on d5, bishop takes on d5, attacking the rook. So, we have bishop to g2, but now knight takes bishop. Queens are exchanged. Bishop takes queen. Pawn takes knight. Bishop to h4, check. King to f1. Knight to c6. Knight to c5. Attacking the pawn on b7 and the bishop on e6. So if rook to b8, knight takes bishop. But attack is the best defense. Bishop to c4, check. King to g1 and black. Castle at the queen's side. Black is doing well so far. Way to move. b3. And if bishop goes to e6, knight takes the bishop. So if bishop to e6, knight takes, pawn takes, and black has a bad pawn structure. So Wojtacek played bishop to g5, excellent move. Attacking the pawn on e3. So if now pawn takes bishop, bishop takes on e3, check, taking the knight. David Navarra played rook to e1, bishop to h4 attacking the rook, rook to b1, attacking the pawn again, king to f2, check, king to f3, black to move, white to check, decided to go for a king hunt, by sacrificing the pawn, but David didn't take the pawn, he played king to f4, g5 check king to f5 where is white king going it is black to move the bishop is under attack so what is the best move for black wait a check ignore that threat and play the rook from h to e8 so if now pawn takes bishop rook to d6 and next is rook to e5, check, mate. David Navarra played rook from h to d1, fighting for the open file. Rook to e5, check, king to f6. Rook to g8, you don't see this every day. Well, black had a chance to win the knight. If rook takes on c5, Knight to a4, rook from c to d5, then knight to b6, check, king to c7, knight takes on d5, bishop takes on d5. It is not clear who is winning here. But uh, in the game we have rook to g8, black wants to give checkmate to white king, not to win a piece. Pawn takes bishop, rook to g6, check, king takes pawn on f7. Rook to e7 check, king to f8. Honestly, it looks like that white king will not survive.
This is a very strange game, isn't it? Rook to f6 check, king to g8, rook to g6 check. Well, what if king goes to f8? Black can repeat the position. But Navarra also wants to win. Rook to f6, threatening checkmate on f8. Black must be very excited now. Very, very close to winning. How to defend? David Navarra played the only move. Rook to f1. Bishop to f2. Rook takes bishop. Rook takes rook. Rook to f1. Rook takes on g2. White survived the attack. But stands worse materially. Rook to f8. King to c7. Knight to d5 check. Another move was knight from 5 takes on e4 after the game David Navarra said that to him knight to d5 was easier to calculate he is winning the exchange king to d6 knight takes rook king takes on c5 rook to f5 check King takes pawn on c4, knight takes on c6, pawn takes on c6, rook takes on g5. The dust has settled. White is a pawn up. But this is not a guarantee for a win. Black king is better positioned. If black wins the pawn on e3, then the pawn, black pawn on e-file is a matching. Rook to g3. Perhaps even better is rook takes on c2. We have rook to g3. h4. h6. If rook takes on e3, king takes on h7, rook to h3, h5, e3. This is just one line. Rook to g8 and after king to d4, h6, e2, rook to d8, king to c3, rook to e8, king to d2, rook takes pawn, king takes g5, king to f3, g6, winning for white. We have h6, rook to g6, rook takes pawn on e3, king to g7, Rook to g3, king takes on h6, e3, king to g5. This is a very important position of the game. Black to move. Should black play king to d5, defending the pawn and preventing rook to e6 or king to c3? What would you do in this critical position? Radoslav Wojtacek played king to d5. Well, better was king to c3. And after, say, rook takes on c6, king to d2, rook to d6, king takes on c2, rook to e6, king to d2 h5. This is just one line to show you what could have happened. Okay. This line will end up in a draw. Hmm. But perhaps Play with black pieces wanted to win. He played king to d5, king to f4, rook to h3. Perhaps black previously thought that e2 is winning. He didn't play e2. Why e2 is not winning? 
Can you see why? How would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? If king takes rook, pawn is promoted to queen. But white has a move, c4. And after king takes on c4, then rook to e6. And after rook to h3, rook takes on e2. Then rook takes on h4. Check. King to d5. King to f5. Position 5 was white. So we have rook to h3. h5. c5. Rook to g5. Check. King to d4. It is white to move. White play the move and black resigned. The move is rook to e5, black resigned. One line just for the entertainment goes like this rook to h2, rook to e4 check, king to c3, king takes on e3, king takes on c2, check, king to b2, rook takes on c5. King takes pawn, rook to a5 check, king to b2, rook takes pawn, king to c3, h6, king to b4, g5, king to b7, rook to a7, king to b6, rook to f7, rook to g2, rook to f6, king to c7, h7, rook to h2, rook to h6, rook takes rook, pawn takes rook, king to b6, pawn is pushed and promoted to something. Um, Perhaps green. And I guess we can stop here. What a game. What a king hunt. Unfortunately, it didn't work. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.